Hello everyone, Peter here. How you doing guys? I started a bit early, like five minutes early. So, for the first five minutes, I can show what we will be doing. Uh, I've got three jobs actually today. Let me check. Okay, so I've put myself actually two laptops and one PS5 with HDMI port. I might make a break in between because that's like a lot. So I don't know how long will take me with each. That's why I wanna I wanna have a break. But yeah. Quite excited actually because it's so many jobs and I can't cope with all of them. No way. <clears throat> I will start to make instead of waiting one day for an estimate uh, for each job or for doing to be two days if that will continue this way so yeah okay so we get a la liquid damage Lenovo today that's what I will focus on I've changed the name of the YouTube channel actually to screen protector dash inter team I've done it in purpose cause the the thing is that you know like you can check that Peter is Peter yes like myself is, is Peter so it's you know it's not that relevant but because uh, my business is called inter team that make a total sense <clears throat> okay I will run the video only pause the sound YouTube okay I will mute the sound Not that relevant. okay because I don't have a chat here and this way I wouldn't have chat so now at least I can uh, I can see the chat if anybody will write but anyways so yeah it's called screen protector dash inter team inter team is the name of the business for now only self-employed and in, in the future will be LTD uh, and that's it yeah so screen protector into team and as per this one <coughs> is it sticky doesn't look sticky so customers said that it's not turning on after the liquid damage can check first power supply if the power supply still supplies some voltage just in case because probably customer is right and the laptop is faulting at the power supply but customer is not an expert I have to be an expert in what I'm doing or at least professional is not an expert so I shouldn't trust what customer can't say it's faulty I should measure myself and make sure this way customer should in my opinion just bring the device <laughs> put it on the table and say fix please that's how I see it yes but some people will disagree with me in their own way they are right okay so it's powered on Okay. Okay, we've got 19. Oh, we've got over 20 volts, which is fine. 20. 20.02. 20 okay, so here is written what? 20. 20 volts. 225 ohm. Okay, so we know that it's not a fault of the power supply. If that doesn't work before me trying to switch it on let us change into the beep mode let us get where's the power connector on this one here cool happy days let's get the minus somewhere here Ooh. come on yeah okay good now that's bad 
but that's the outer one what's what about the inner one okay I need to get the light because I don't know if I'm checking the right place or I'm checking the wrong place okay I can see now oh there's a capacitor so 570 that's okay uh, so it's safe to turn on <coughs> and observe what will happen do we have a charge charging light or it's shorted Okay, as we don't have any light, I can switch to the watt meter. So this one, yes. So look, it's plugged in and it's showing zero watts. Take it out, yes, zero watts. Plug it in and still zero watts i don't know if you can see this but it doesn't consume 0 0.2 watts 0 0.1 watt so it doesn't consume enough current okay oh now it's 2.3 watt 2.1 watt so either the battery is totally charged or there is some issue oh now it's 27 watts now it's proper guys so this it is charging so there is no short as such but still i can't see the the light for the charge i don't know where this laptop has so okay let's try to switch on you get a green light get a lenovo <laughs> we get a windows So what is the problem with this laptop? And we get a still Windows loading. And I get a Windows. And that's 37 watts, so I can agree that uh, that's okay. Okay, I see that the battery is drained. I need to have an admin here. I can have a user. It's loading. Welcome. Just to check it. And then all I can do is just open it and see if there's any liquid damage signs on it, on the main board. But it's still welcoming us, so... Yay! 46 watts! Yeah, I'm happy with... The fan is spinning as well, so I'm happy with that one. Okay, the battery is showing charging, that's good. 1 hour 38 minutes to full charge so that's okay RAM 41% CPU 60 okay just want to see that it will move me uh, just slightly more that it will start to change if it will start to change at the battery level then I'll know that you know it's it's okay I'll ask customer what who, what was the problem with this laptop because I've I've been told that it wasn't powering on that's what I remember I might be wrong but let's go to bookrepaironline.co.uk first before contacting the customer and let's read what customer have wrote in the ticket it's new bookings or laptops toshiba lenovo here liquid damage just liquid damage okay 
So if it's a liquid damage, I can do move to undergo and work. And I can do during repair. Okay, that's that status will be fine. So in that case, guys, I won't be uh, contacting the customer because if it was liquid damage, we should uh, open it anyway. And I see already that it's it's a progress. Now it's 4% and one hour and 36 minutes. So, you know, even if the battery is dead, it's still showing okay. So I can take it for granted that that's not a problem. Power off and shut down. Let's see if there's any other issue like visible liquid damage on the main board. Because if that's the case, we need to clean it and then give it back to the customer, test it and then give it back to the customer, okay? So, yay. Okay, I'll get some claw for, that will do. Somebody wrote to me some message. Okay, that's just customer with the I don't know. Not just one customer. <clears throat> that's fine. Yeah, I need an apprentice guy. <laughs> A lot of how small this battery is unbelievable it's like nothing how long this will hold the power okay so let's disconnect the charger it's 27 watts so I'm happy with how much it takes put it aside Okay, so do we have any under this? No, we don't have any screws under this sticker nor under this sticker. So let's do here one, two, three, four, five, six. And that should be pH zero, which I've got here. Okay. I haven't opened this or similar laptop for a quite a bit of time it's actually like a more of a netbook than a laptop okay oh there is there is one screw here So somebody was here before me <laughs> for some reason. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not okay because you don't know what that person could do. Okay. That's okay, that's fine. That if they are not willing to pop out these screws, let them stay over there it's fine now the question is do i have to remove the keyboard in order to remove because it's it might be the case before removing the bottom part but 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 you can only find it one way some of the laptops one way with some of the laptops is the second way so as this here doesn't let it go that easily I won't be doing it I will try to remove the back cover first how it is segregated here in this space okay don't need to use even a pry tool for this model I see Easy. Oh. Okay. 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 So this is a one battery. 
<laughs> interchangeable. That's that's quite actually nice solution. That's one battery and that's a second battery. Wow, okay. So we got a double battery. In it. I haven't seen double battery for a long, long time, so yeah. Oh, somebody, uh, I think upgraded to an NSSD with because I don't, re I don't recall these laptops with an SSD. But that's not the reason why we're here. Yes, now I'll take a photo because I, I don't memorize this laptop. So let me take a photo. Okay, how bright it is. It's quite bright, but let me use the flash. Okay. So that I will be 100% sure what goes where. Come on. My phone is overloaded with photos of from repairs. Come on, process it, processing. Come on, come on, I need to see clear picture. If no, I need to retake it. So let's not waste the time. Okay. Guys, I need to clear my uh, storage memory. Because I see that I've I've taken too many photos and because of that you can imagine it's booking successful whereas yesterday that's today's photo and that's no photos here. Ah telling you guys yeah black screen Oh, now it is. And now it's vivid. Yeah. It's working well, that's okay. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to take out the main board because if any damage is on the main board then that will be a problem. So the first thing what we should do normally is to disconnect the battery. Yes, that's the battery. That's the second battery in this. So here's the connector. So battery is out. Now the second is you need to touch something metal like this one or like this one here before touching this. That's a memory. Okay, so let's take the memory out. Why? Because there can be an electro uh, electrostatic short and that can kill stuff. Okay. Mm. Don't observe the chat, so nobody wrote anything on the chat. That's okay. It's me only, one watching, so it's fine. Good that nobody's here because if I would have to point attention still to the chat. That would be a problem. Okay, now this is like this, okay, uh, did they use this type of connector here? Wow, okay, I wouldn't guess that would have happened, not a lot of dust, that's a nice, th that's a nice thing. Okay, so let's see how those cables are here, that's okay, that even if it wouldn't be the state, it's fine. It's not a problem. And to take this board out. I don't see how this LVDS connector, so the display connector is connected. So let me, do I press anything? Or why this popped out? The plastic popped out. Huh. And just by finger, by 
by my nail. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, I need to see how this one is looking. How to take it out. Because this normally is up, but in this case, no, you can't press it to take it out. Hmm. There has to be a way. But this is soldered so that I can't do anything. I can't press it. Okay, this is moving. Sorry guys that I can't show you. But I'm trying to figure out things myself. Because once I will do it the bad way, nobody will correct it for me. Eh? I'll need to order a cable or solder something to fix it so I can't take any chances that I will do something wrong here hmm quite curious should be that the surface above should be openable and it's not but LVDS connectors usually got this top cover here, the metal one, you lifting it up. In this, it's not decayed. Or it is, and I, I just can't see it. Let's get this smaller. Hmm. because it's moving all together it's moving so it should let go oh it's moving yeah okay it was just fragile that's okay so it is it does pop out the way i thought you know so it's it's okay okay let me switch this off you see sometimes those small bits yes Although you expect them to work in a certain way, they are taking your time. And unfortunately, if you will speed up, you can damage something and then you'll spend even more time to repair it. And it's not customer's fault. So you need to just take it into your loss. Yeah. <coughs> what can you do? Okay, this connector out with those small connectors especially when they were heating to a certain extent they can go off really easily yeah? okay so now one screw is here at the edge that's okay second screw I don't see here any screw so that's the second screw here at the connector okay so one here two here what are they i don't see anything which would mark them but they are flat and have holes whereas the other ones have a metal bits yeah that's stiff still so we need to look for more of those connectors now there is no screws here, but there is a connector here. You can leave this one for now, that's a reset button. Here is one as well, at the bottom of the, uh, how you call it, at the SSD area. They are all the same, I see. No, 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 sorry. Sorry, this one is shorter, this one is longer and this one is longer. So there is a difference in between them. Okay, and this one is a connector for the SSD. So it's fine. Now, is the board moving? 
Okay, it's moving to here. I can feel no pressure here, but here I start to feel the pressure again. Okay, so this one is disconnected definitely. Okay, good. Now this board is still not loose. It's like those here would uh, hold exactly. So that was safe and sound. But here I don't. Okay, now it's going off. Do we have any screws? No, we don't. So it's again, let's make a leverage. Okay. I can't use more pressure because if I'll damage anything, you know who'll pay for it. Yeah? And the antenna to Wi Fi. Oh, here it is, you see? So underneath the antenna where this cable is, there was one more screw and that's the shorter or the, the longer screw, okay. That's the longer screw. Okay, so it's more loose on this side but okay it's up to this point let me check because somebody wrote something nobody on the chat good mm. oh lg x boom And it's a wireless speaker, guys, for the repair. Charging is not working in, in it. Okay, I'll ask customer to book it in. I'll send the book repair online link. So quick access, uh, entity book repair, copy. And customer lives at Edinburgh, so the trip this week will be probably to this person. Uh, superb, I can show him my business on Google. This YouTube, guys, yes, this YouTube. Uh, okay, so that's it. So there might be additional repair. I still have some pressure actually. Don't feel it here. It's some somewhere here. I need to dig to the bottom of this section. Okay, this is okay. That was on the chip, and this chip is a small power supply chip here. I know you don't see it. That's why I want to show you this one here. This small chip is a power supply. That's why they've put this one so that it can propagate the heat uh, better. Yes. because uh, yeah if it's overheating then you know it will burn because it can work about 20 to 30 degrees more than the whole electronics can work in at times but I don't see any other screw 
which is odd because I'd say there will be more screws and it's none. So the question is what does it hold? some sort of glue and only here this connector you guys yeah that's the that's the connector which was holding and below it there is one more ribbon cable okay now it's loose there is a loose mousse about this hoose and when I'll cut it it'll get the noose Ah, come on, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, cool, happy days. I wiggle it off. <clears throat> now this is taped, in my humble opinion, too much. That's the funny part about laptops. Laptops don't have enough heat propagation, or how you can call it, but they will have enough tape. You know, just why not? And then you open laptop, which is called framework, and you don't have tape in that laptop as you've got in those. But guess what? It's less faulty than those. And probably those who are watching, most of you didn't heard about uh, framework laptop. It's a fully fixable laptop. You can fix it inside out. Okay. Okay. The customer is asking about the price. I can't say the price because I could lie. Okay, so we can see that this cable it's from the speaker and it goes underneath and it's hooked up underneath the main board okay and that's the only cable which is hooked up this one goes on the edge and this one goes on the edge for the ssd so those are the cables which goes here and now this one was here at the edge good should be able to disconnect this which is an SSD okay it's glued on a tape or like the other one and this doesn't wiggle okay need to look at it closer so I'll need to switch on the, the light but it doesn't hold on any screws at least look like it doesn't hold on any screws okay good so we've got two last connectors guys before doing anything uh, one here for the Wi-Fi <coughs> or not Wi-Fi was here that's the Wi-Fi so this is for the camera probably and something else mic or I need to get a light okay and this second one for the SSD as well so how this SSD one is done? Can't see it. Let's 
with an SSD they could be more creative and do something different than with that second one hmm. you know what will be quicker and easier if I'll just disconnect it through here literally and I'm not joking I could I can do it through that one but I don't wanna you know like waste more time than I I do two screws here for the speaker and that's the last connector here and that's us one two how do you do yeah one two speaker out oh like this and now the last connector is only this here so yay let's show us how you are mounted <coughs> a rope camera cable that should be the same as the LVDS same story looks like and again I will insert the uh, finger and again the plastic will break doesn't go on that time it went but here no it didn't oh no oh I see the damage I see the damage I'll show you under the microscope Oh, yeah, it went out. Okay, that's us. I can switch it off. I can... I can look here later on, but I see that the damage was on this side. That's where I see white places, and it's not the Xbox to have white places. Let's get those screws. Let's get this patient here. Or with this, because we all we need is a main board. Now power supply can go onto the second table as well. This can go down. <clears throat> now I can have some fun with the microscope. Yeah? Where I dropped the cable? Ah, here is a cable. Why oh, it's too short? It's impossible that this cable is too short. I need to buy a cable which is bent into one direction because I don't like to pull this cable too hard. Okay, I can plug in the scope. Switching on. Oh, plenty of chips here. So I need to tidy up those chips, but where do we have? Yay, we got a microscope. Let's get those chips first of the way that's ps5 and xbox chips mainly but not only okay and that's maximum almost at the height so we can't show here yeah you can see i'll change colors for use Try to get this higher as much as I can so that you can see the damage. So, yeah, let's try to. Oh, that's not working. Why it's not working? Hmm, my ring light doesn't work. If 
thought I've got another thing to fix but okay so let's see uh, what do we have here that's a USB and headphone jack area let's try here so here is a headphone jack Okay, I don't see any white stuff here. I can see that here, this doesn't look bad. Here, this is look more like it's scraped or something, but this is more like a scrape, somebody scraped it. But this is, this is bad. and this follow up here because all those vias you know all those vias are connecting to something somewhere so now now there is a problem because we don't know which via goes to where to which layer of the board so I'll say to the customer that we can either try to clean it and if it won't work I would recommend to just order a second board because it's too many vias here vias here and these vias can go can go literally to any any part of the board and then something won't connect and I will be wasting my time and customers time and customers money as well so I would say no There's a card still, Wi-Fi card, so I'll take it out, this card. So in order to provide a five-star rated service for this customer, okay, I don't see it's black stuff here. I don't know if it's legal to say black, but if it's not, excuse me more. Or is it is it legal to say white stuff? If if it's illegal to say black. Okay. So let's try to see this section here. That's nothing. That's a glue on this coil. That's a glue, that's fine. That's a MOS, that's a set of MOSFETs. The only rusty part I found is on, the, on these vias. If I would find on those MOSFETs, I could replace those MOSFETs. That wouldn't be a problem. If I see this on vias, I can't guarantee that this will work properly. I'll need to speak to the customer. Either customer is willing to take it, you know, as is, but I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, apart from that, I don't see any more damage, but that's CPU and GPU. It's okay. So yeah, there, there is no more, much more damage apart from that which I showed you. That's it. Customer can say a Bluetooth uh, speaker, so I say hi-fi in the category in the book report online. Yeah, it's okay. I don't see any other on this side. And what about the second side? It's all black. So I'll get you to the camera. And let me try to... Okay. Let's 
Ah, nothing. It's it's okay. It will be fine. Let me switch. And only those vias I'm interested in. Yeah, here no visible damage. That's all glue. That's literally all glue. Okay. And nobody is writing on the chat. That's okay. Okay, in those vias where were ah on the second side. Okay, so I was ungluing the wrong side. Me unglue this side. I can show you what I'm doing actually because you don't see me doing. <coughs> so I'm undoing the second side. Okay. Oh, this glue is nicely sticked to the surface. But that's it, we don't need to open even more. I don't see a point if, if in doing even more. Okay, so let me show you that where those vias are, it's this side here. Okay, that's the section of those vias. And that's where the damage was. And now let's switch to the scope and I'll show you both sides. So here are all the vias, which I've cleaned, yes. I, I just went and I've cleaned them but to be true I don't believe in, in just cleaning it and now it's the second side that's the side where those vias were so there are chips now those vias on this side yes some of them are one to one so what you see on the second side is those vias up to here Alk. <laughs> okay, that's our audio codec uh, but some of them are going inside the main board so yeah I, I have to speak to the customer guys because I don't like I don't like that through the uh, you know it's it can one time it can work second time it it can't work so I need to speak to the customer are there any further issues because we didn't see we just started up booted up and it was fine um, I can first stop the customer and then we will know what to do next for now I can switch it off we don't need that one uh, well that's a Wi-Fi card for the laptop and that's this okay now this one, this fella, this fella was ever open, PS5, ah, that, that's a PS5, I shouldn't look here, I should look here, okay, let's not scratch the second side, let's take it apart as well. never remember is it down or up okay this is not bad it was never open good do we have any drive inside or we don't probably we don't yeah we don't that's okay so now those plastic thingies here are not needed can go away yes uh, it's actually it doesn't matter where I put it but here looks more robust okay. we don't need a meter for now I can Go into the studio mode. And no. Settings. Stream. Not even. Okay. Stop streaming and broadcasting. I count. See where I can change because here is let test some faulty laptop. They've got one more laptop, but I. I I know it will take me some time on that one. 
so I would like to change it to the title edit video maybe here oh, on the YouTube and just let's test uh, PS5 this time PS5 no signal is it an HDMI so let's put here faulty laptop and save and now this video will have a proper title okay live yes faulty laptop and ps finals now it's fine now i've got a photo i don't remember <laughs> where those uh screws are going believe me i've done quite a few of them and it's not once and not, not twice not even five times but comparing to the xboxes i haven't done them so many to always remember screws yes so i know the screws but i don't know them like inside out some of them are longer some of them are shorter so i'm always uh, taking taking my time and checking the photos of how it's done and because it's a ps5 i hate it but oh well we need to use some aqua drill or something to not get a problem with so many screws because when you unscrew in few that's fine if you unscrew in so many you just oh see that's... waiting on the battery for the screwdriver till then i have to use this one it's good for the tvs uh, but for, for smaller things like game consoles I prefer smaller uh, I'll call it I prefer smaller Ooh, that's that's what I was using at the Xbox and this one is smaller even uh, yeah with with game consoles it's you know it's for me at least yeah it's better to have something smaller to these two are one is smaller and one is higher one is lower and one is higher so let's check which one the outer one that was and now this one is the inside one okay so the inside one is shorter and to the plastic and where is the outer one here is to the metal okay cool let's go here that's a long one and the second bottom one is a long one see that's a long one that's a long one as well that can stay okay. this one is to the metal and we will go to the warranty one fortunately unfortunately I've got an opportunity to work with new devices and old devices but to be true my customers are saying Peter don't quit this business because we don't have locally so so much of a good choice of the repair shops I'm I'm wondering why I would say that there are a few good choices but they are saying to me no <laughs> so, yeah I don't know what they understand through good or bad but if I've got customers for over 10 years, then maybe they've got a point. I don't know. That's why I was quitting three times on business of repairs and I can't quit it. Three times. At once I was, I was opening a business similar to the Inter team we're opening now only in a different way and we were screwed up for many thousands of pounds 
So me and my wife, we've lost like 7,000 pounds on that. Oh, yeah, the warranty sticker. And it took us, you know, some time to recover it. And it took me some years to develop, start to develop the business the same what I wanted. Like Inter team is, but without uh, without the need of investment, but with only a ah that's it. I could see that there is a Blu-ray, and so that if I get a Blu-ray, I should remove the Blu-ray first. Because I don't have to remove the Blu-ray, but guess what? If I want to remove the Blu-ray, uh, it will be harder for me. So yay! Press it here, you need to press it and then you can pull it, yes? Okay, now this can be, uh, this can be, that's just paper clips here. One, two, three. So we can just pull it through, 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 through them. <coughs> now I like to do through the bottom of those spongy ones. It's third apart anyway. Okay, let's try this time with by hand. It's done. And here by hand. Yeah, somewhat done. Okay. So yeah, and at one time I was just playing Forex, foreign exchange. As well, rather than doing this. But I like Rufus, I can say. So I'm ending up with doing them. I'll stand because it's too much of sitting in this profession. Oh, but we need to be changing the Zaku drill. Yeah, 60 odd screws doesn't help. The last, last breath. Okay, did that customer wrote anything or? Nothing, okay, and video, and I'd like to see the chat. I know nobody will probably write, but anything. But just in case, because yesterday even somebody has wrote something. Okay, where's the second battery then? Because this one, Has no power. Oh, I left it downstairs, so I will need to pop in downstairs. Yeah, it's nearly out of power as well. So, but that that battery should be here and should be charged. So I don't know if that was charged. It's charging now, but. Oh, that's more lightweight. That's that's better. I forgotten how li how lightweight this Black and Decker is. It's really old. This Dewalt I I bought for ten pounds of Facebook Marketplace just to have something that when my one is charging to have a second one. But I've lost the charger to this one. Actually, I could charge it no problem because it's uh, just a barrel connector. And I've got my bench power supply, so... Guess what? It shouldn't be a problem for me. But hey... Yeah, I'm halfway through. I won't be going for that. Let it charge for a few minutes. 
maybe it will be good. It, we don't need a lot of power to be true. We just need a few more watts. I could do it by hand to be true. And that's a quick charger, so that's a good thing. At least in this one I don't need to do the cleanup. Last few. Ah. Okay, the central one. Somewhere did I miss any, or I did not hear? Yeah, that's the long one. See, that's the long one. Okay, did I miss any, or that's us? Two here. Oh. Come on, I'm out of, out of battery. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. That's fine, here is all done. Yeah, that is done. Now there are two, I think, one and there, there was, I think, second one somewhere. Or I'm wrong and it's only this one. Or it was and I, I already undone it. But anyways, let's charge this one. That few minutes and we'll be fine. It's gonna stay on the ground. Let me put this one aside. Now the clamp. And the water, and the water, 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 water. Well, I've got a battery here, RAM, and the uh, and the fan of that lap from that laptop. I need to put it away. Okay, now it's sorted. happy days so let's continue with the clamp customer is saying that it's a it's an HDMI port and there is no signal I can do the HDMI port that's not a problem and fingers crossed customer is right if customer is wrong Then Houston got a problem. This one disconnected, this one disconnected. So it's looking I didn't forget about anything. Now it's the fun part, yes, the fun part. So now it's the liquid metal section. Oh, here is this connector, which is the funny connector. Come on. We go, we go, we go. Okay, good. Connector is disconnected. Now here is the small pin, which we need to watch out on. And here is connector, 12 volt connector as well. So oh, um, we go, we go, we go. 
and that connector has to leave the housing yes now it's fine we will deal with this later because we need to deal with the liquid metal later it's not a problem but I'm curious about this HDMI connector now. Is there a point to change it? Or no? There's no point to change it. So let's take it under the scope. And let's observe what it will show. So, will those pins move? Because it's looking original. Well, it was original because nobody was here. Let's get us some probes. So it will be thin. That's a thin probe, okay. So from capacitance meter, you can use them. This is the right probe. Now, I will try to poke each of them get this okay doesn't move doesn't move I'll tell you if it will move or you should be able to see it yourself actually this is slightly shorter, but it's happening sometimes, to be true. I've noticed that sometimes they are not exactly the same. Okay, so they don't want to move. I've got values from series S of those 19 pins here in the HDMI port. I don't have from PS5. And oh, 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 this moves a bit. Look. Ouch. Yes, this moved. And moved. So yeah, two pins out of them have moved out of all and that's HDMI detect. <laughs> so yeah, fine, uh, no problem. Let me check the values, okay? I'll check the values because this way we can write it down and I'll open the spreadsheet of my old data. Uh, I don't know if this is here. Mm, TV parts box one, two cables, adapters, SMD components, electric aluminum caps, USB ports. Okay, so that's not the spreadsheet. I'll get to the drive at Google and let me switch to the Parts, orders, and inventory, untitled. TV parts and cables, no. And this account into team, no. Okay, so where I can find untitled spreadsheet? Hmm. I'm not happy because I don't see these values and I remember I've made a spreadsheet with values. So, do we have series S? Series. No, there's no spreadsheet with the name of series S. Okay, uh, I know where I've done it. It's at Simple Note, it's not at the. Uh, yeah, I. HDMI, of course. 
I meant to move it to the spreadsheet and I never did. Okay, so I'll, I'll make a note to do it, but I'll copy and paste. Copy and paste. Oh, so let's check. Okay, one to two. Where is my meter? Yellow Metex meter. <clears throat> Yeah, our ohms on the beep. Yeah, it's on the beep. So left probe is red one and it's Yeah, left probe is a red one. So let's check now. This has no contact zero. It's the same as on the Xbox zero Xbox Series X Series S. Now this one, and it's similar to Xbox Series S because it's 737 here shows and I've got written down that it's a 709, so 737, all correct. Now the next one should be OL, open loop, be quiet, yeah and it is open. As long as I, of course, don't touch something. And OL, yes, the 5 to 6 will be 709 again. Yes, 737 again. Okay, I'll correct my one again. So it's slightly higher than. And then the next one, two are uh, OL. Yeah, this one and this one should be, yes, and the next one should be again 704, so it will be 737 probably, yes, 737, exactly, I'll correct my one. So another two should be as well. Uh, empty like no connection be quiet I don't ask you so yes correct this one oh no here I'm wrong here two not are uh, so which one it is I know I'm right that only my probe went too far and that's why so it is it is right so it's my spreadsheet is right 10 to 11 should be here now this should have reading yes 736 shows that's okay 11 to 12 36 another one should have as well but slightly less so this one versus the deep one. Be quiet. Yes, yeah, six to four. So similar, six, six, eight is six to four. Now double empty now. So that's an empty reading. And why I'm checking with Series S because it's HDMI port and that is HDMI port. So I wrote at Series S and you can see that it's still similar and, and it's empty. Okay, the last one will be 1420 so that that is quite quite large, but here can vary because of this. Oh. Ah, because this doesn't, okay. This is the one which is moving. And this one is regular here, okay? So that's the difference in between. In between my readings and this. Okay, I'm definitely sure that I'm touching the, the left one. 
and here is left side of this that's the same story I see I can say it's more, more challenging because of this cup here. But it doesn't show it showing one. So the 1420 I've got here, it's open loop. Oh, L. So, yeah. now for 15 to 16 15 to 16 is ol 16 to 17 now oh, that's a 19 so 19 to 18 i'll start of this because we got those four and it's quite awkward okay that's open loop that's fine okay so now i can check the cap Okay, it's 487 on the cap, it's 580 on this one, so again it's lower. 480. And again I'll check those last two. I know that's a left. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's I'm happy with this. Of this I would expect to have some reading, but I see that I was wrong. Okay, now again, this I thought will have some reading and I didn't have. Okay, I've got 1386. Sorry, so my bad, I should write it down. Okay, so it is 16, 17, 18, 18, no, 19, 18, 17, 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15. It's 1386 or something but it's similar so it's okay whatever I will write it's it's fine so those readings are fine apart from those two uh, apart from those two loose uh, wires which we can solder and to, to give it to the customer you can write to the customer actually and say that this port is still in a good shape if he want to replace it i can do it but it's it's not needed so it just two pins are off all right to him and we can hello hello on the live just now and dealing with your ps5 yeah The port is still in a good shape, but there are only two pins which are loose and need the soldering. Okay, so now, yes, now because it's this this port is not bad, and you know it's stiff when you when you plug into it. I can replace the port, but that that will be for me, you know. For me, it will be a waste. So, if customer want, I can of course replace it because customer said the port replacement. So it's not that I want to argue. It's just that I like to replace faulty stuff, not good one. Yeah, what's the point of? replacing good stuff where is my finger here okay so it's wrong microscope yeah exactly so you see there is no damage on this side completely all the pins are stable they are they are just inside yes it's it's nothing wrong when you insert the cable you like how stiff it is yes so it's just those two two paths to be true which are not connecting from the bottom but 
but it's up to the customer if customer wants me still to do it you see no completely no damage to the port completely so I would not solder it because why solder the port just because we can solder the port and it's when you insert the, the port you see, you feel how robust it is so yeah it's like really I can do it but I'd rather not put heat on this board if I don't have to more than I have to well, that's the wrong port. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the right port. So you see, there's no cracks in the solder whatsoever. I need to respect customer decision. That's why I think I will just wait with it. And if customer wants, I can I can really do it. It's not a problem. It's his board, so. Yeah, it's it's nice no cracks no anything so I can't recommend I wouldn't if that would be my board I wouldn't solder it literally I would just correct those two pins and that's it job done yeah Guys, I will leave it aside because uh, it's customer is not replying. I will leave it aside because you know I would not do it. Yes, I would not do it. It's it's for me. It's a no no. If you don't have to do something, don't do it. Yes, uh, I can replace the port. I've got ports in stock. It's just that. So. PlayStation, uh, that laptop we know. We've seen that in general it's okay, but the, the Vias were affected uh, severely, and because of that, because they are going to multi layers, uh, it's you know, I would just replace the board or risk you know, cleaning at the board and just use it, and it will be fine, will be fine. If no, will will be problem because you need to replace the board again. So either or, customer will have to make the decision. Uh, when it comes to this PS5, we see that it, there is no need to replace the uh, HDMI because when you insert the HDMI, I've tested it and it's it's firm, it's robust. So I wouldn't replace the port. If customer wants still to replace this port, I can do it for him. But that you know that will be heating up unnecessarily his board. So I I, I wouldn't recommend that because of that. It's a thick board. It, takes a lot of heat and if I can avoid it I would avoid it yeah and so those two jobs are okay they can wait now I got a problem with one laptop okay and This is a new monitor, new display. So that's not the one. That's not the one. Okay. Well, we want. Oh, that's from another laptop which customer account pick up for some reason that's what it is with some of the customers you fix stuff for them and they don't tend to pick it up okay that's not the board I was looking for that's from the smaller laptop which is totally dead and uh, I've replaced MOSFETs everything and there is still a short so oh that's plastic from the PS5 oh, it's 
here. That's the one I was looking for. Acer Predator. Whoop. Whoops, that's an old LCD. Yes. So. This laptop came to me that has no display, but on the external monitor is working. I've checked and 16 volts was going to the display. Okay. So I said, let me test the display. And here's the display. I'll put it aside. Let's go under the scope. I'll grab some something on myself. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Hopefully the chipset is okay. Uh, do you do you want can type? Do you want me? still to repl replace this HDMI port or just just solder what's wrong I can do either or in this PS5 yes but I can't recommend uh, in this case case heating up the whole board. The port looks robust to me. When you insert the cable, it's not loose. And if it's not loose, you shouldn't just unnecessarily um, replace the port, yes? If it was damaged, okay but what damage was caused and I only see this so you know like for me it's either or. customer wrote hopefully the chipset is okay because I said if there will be short to the HDMI encoder to this chip here yeah where well, is one chip it's so many chips here so many chips that's an HDMI encoder that's the HDMI encoder we switch to the Okay, so that's the Panasonic. You see, that's the chip I was talking about. Uh, let's just try and repair what's wrong. Okay, Roger, Roger that. We'll keep you updated. So we've got a green light for soldering. We don't have a green light for the, um, for the, how do you call it? For the replacement. And that's a smart actually decision. So you see, we've got connector here, power comes in, okay? Then this goes to one chip and then there is a second chip all the way long here. Okay, so those two chips are driven by that power which comes in now as you know capacitors are like batteries and they shouldn't be connected plus with the minus so i said to the customer and so i just to make it clear i'll switch to this i've got on the diode mode yes let's use these probes and this setting here okay so i did check and some of the capacitors were shorted and i said to the customer do you want me to try and find the short or just blindly order another monitor yes because we get a short and we see here is fine it's no problems whatsoever Yes, here and here it's a problem. So I'll grab it in a bit different way, just in case. Maybe I might, no, still that and 
that's C so that's capacitor yes now I said I can try to chase the fault and start to remove these capacitors and everything okay but it is definitely the fault of either blown the capacitor or something but the customer said no okay let's order the and it's not only here in other places as well <clears throat> so I said look we can go for the uh, for the fault finding yes and we can spend some time uh, or maybe we will be lucky and we will find the fault and customer said no let's let's order so I've ordered the disk for it unfortunately the display came the display still doesn't work so I said okay I'll give you spare laptop because customer went abroad and the customer will be back here in one week time maybe less so I, I would like to check what's wrong with his board in this case if we know we get a short on the display that's one issue solved but from what I calculated repair of this laptop is a bit too much why it's so you might be asking well first foremost this hinge is fine yes this hinge is fine on this side now you don't see I still have a full picture so we've got one good hinge but on this side the hinge is knackered so we need to buy hinge or the set of hinges yes that's not dear that's not a problem next thing this back has no holders for those screws here which are which are with a thread at the bottom on this side now I said to the customer look we can try to put some resin or resin based adhesive try to use it but as you are using it all the time I can't guarantee you that this will be a robust solution so the best I can offer is either gamble with this or order this back now if you will add the cost of the display if you will add the cost of this back if you will add the cost of the hinges and the cost of the main board the cost is just too much so to make it worth customers money and to make it worth customers time and my money and my time I think I will only order hinges that display and I will try to fix it to here yes and I will try to fix the main board and this way customer has lower value of the repair which then makes more sense to the customer that's that's what I can offer and it's a good customer um, you've got a business so I know the feeling because I've got a business and I'm fighting I'm literally fighting for the five stars all the time because some of the customers are really polite really nice and straight to the point and some of the customers are just like if you would be their enemy how that's how I feel it yes like no matter how hard you try they've got a problem and they are making sure yes that you will know it and it will be your problem as well that's how I feel it with some of the customers unfortunately you know that's how it goes but I love to work with customers in general so I don't have issues with that it's just that sometimes it is a pain sorry here I need to take two photos because I can go wrong in no time and I won't have guide we can switch off the scope no mass no more now 
because I'll be removing so battery comes first battery is out first and well okay here nobody is in the chat very good two watching now welcome the second person who's watching uh, anyways I, I need some tools I need some tools okay this is how we do yeah this is how we roll my boys will go sleep fortunately my mom can look after them fortunately I've ordered even the cable here LVDS cable you know just just there are two cables here look one and two you see that's the second cable that's the original cable here I've ordered it you know like just in case because I'm saying that's a lower risk let's say that's 10 pounds and then I can use that cable for my monitor tester yes display tester and so that I can uh, you know test those displays in the future but hey ho that wasn't good enough I'm happy that customer replied from the PS because I can finish the PS that that's a nice thing I won't have to drag it I don't like to drag repairs Okay, usually they are staying screw. Oh no, these screws are going out. Wow. They usually have some like a washer underneath that they are staying in that, but hey ho! Here is different. I mean, to get this board out. And then I will start measuring. I don't want to measure it here on this. Okay. I could measure here, but I just don't like to. Oh, there's one more. Sorry. One more here. Somebody is watching and can't say hello on chat. <laughs> one person is watching. Come on, what's happening here? There's nothing. I feel like there would be one more screw, guys. One more screw. Okay, that's okay. No, happy to say I'm wrong. No more. Okay. Oh. This cooling system is firmly attached to the <laughs> to the board and doesn't want to let go. Wow, that was a hard one. Okay, the second fan separated to here. Okay, good. Whoa. but it's okay can't see if it's full of dust or not anyways this this come out now the majority is done is there any other screw or it's loose no here it is it's a one Okay, so at least the, the screws are the same size. So. And here to the hinges and to the lock, one more. But this is short one. Oh, the same with that. That's fine. At least they've used the same. Okay, where else? Where else? Ah, here is one. 
at the very edge where the fan is located and oh that's a super short that's the shortest of them all good to know okay so here is the short one oh now it's more loose that's good okay so one connector two connectors and the keyboard that brilliant okay now will be a quick inspection underneath the uh, underneath the skull but i will remove first oh that's incompatible screwdriver and here is this tape so let us get smaller screwdriver maybe this one will fit even smaller that's too big Okay, what about you? Okay, that will fit. Okay, that's fine. So, let's switch to the scope again. And let's this one away okay so we have light yeah we get light so let's switch to the scope colors change okay cool now again I count Oh, no more I can't I can zoom in more but I can't zoom out that's a maximum of the zoom out okay no problem so visual inspection first hmm. that's okay and all power section is I'm not interested in because it's working it's just that where the VGA connector and the LVDS connector is that's a problem which is here that doesn't look bad now the problem only is that the volts are common so only the signals data signal which is common it's wrong so let me check this cap, cap here again beep mode a beep mode yes and let's check if this cap is short good it's not it's not shorted which one is a ground this is a ground okay and this one is not shorted now we've got those small cups here what are they is it a resistor or a capacitor doesn't show on this anything so the question is why the display display on the HDMI through the HDMI port why doesn't want through the monitor as i know there was an issue with uh, with the monitor i know it 
and zero ohm. Yeah, it, it works. So okay, if not you, if not you, this should beep as well probably. No, it's loading like the capacitor. Okay, I don't know about this one. Here is another capacitor. But no short on this. That's okay. I don't know what this chip does, but if it's 16 volts coming in, then I would assume that it's doing a good job. Now there is a, a small cap just here or if it's not a cap I don't know what it is oh that's 30 drop so maybe it's not a cap maybe it's something else on ohms how many ohms it's only 30 ohms I don't know what it is. It's darker than the capacitor. I have to look at the schematics. What does it do? It might not be a. And it can't be a. Hmm. I'm just curious. Because here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six goes to this. And then one side would be coming out from this. And the second one could be a ground. Hmm. Okay and then where it's going from where it's coming from probably without board view or with a, without the schematics it will be challenging but graphic card when send the signal it, it should have some encoder like hdmi encoder i don't know how works this laptop and what has it is going from the graphics chipset which is just below here but then again if that would go well on the HDMI why it wouldn't go that that's only what's worrying me because let's switch to the beep mode if that would be a problem with a graphic card why this wouldn't be a problem for the HDMI that wouldn't make any sense in my head so if it if it shows for the HDMI that's okay yeah. 0.30 Okay, so I don't know what this should do, but I see that on this left diode, which again I might be wrong, they're both the same. So my red probe is at the bottom, which is the opposite direction of the diode, and this is here. This is growing and charging and it's it's fine yes so it's it's okay the other way around is the proper way of this diode then it's charging and it's only to three four four millivolts which i would say okay no problem but the anode is at the top here anode and cathode is here at the bottom and the anode is connected to the cathode of this diode here and then when I test again anode is the red at the top my probe is red and here I've got 
34 millivolts drop only 34 not 340 and then the opposite way when I'm checking it's the same only 34 millivolts drop so I'm quite curious oh hello third person I mean I'm the one so two, two more people hello uh, another person so I can see that this drop is is wrong now the question is I don't believe that the um, that the diode will be faulty I just don't I'll remove the NVMe and check if that will change anything uh, come on. N NVMe is in the socket here which can be a power supply to the NVMe I removed <coughs> Wi-Fi card and I didn't remove the NVMe right so yeah smart move okay and now let's check as well if that's the case so anode cathode still on this side still the same and on this still the same okay so the question is what's happening in this circuit because here the power comes in to this because that's an anode and that's the cathode the question is is there any problem but that's NVMe drive and it's reading well so I, I I know I might end up in the wrong place wrong spot of the problem I think I need to leave it for now and either get a schematic or schematics or something else because I know I can m misinterpret it yeah anode here cathode here anode here and a cathode here okay and that goes cathode to the power supply but why it's showing the opposite way to the ground what in circuit is here mounted that it can do it yeah I'm guessing things so I I don't want to guess things and I don't want to waste your time guys I'll need to figure it out because that's weird that this board is working okay for the HDMI and doesn't work for the display I did change the uh, I did change the cable to the second cable uh, I did check un under the meter uh, both of the uh, sides of the cable so I know that where is the spare cable here okay uh, so I know that these pins on this side which connects to the main board yes to this connector goes perfectly to this there's no short in between pins or anything so I did check that one and that's a new cable that's not because this has this white thingy the old one doesn't so those both cables and the new one and the old one are are okay now I didn't check the display and my question is now to not waste any more time can I one start the backlight by having the spare cable all I need to do is download the schematics of that display and if I can download the schematics of that display I should be able to supply a backlight if I'll recognize where I can uh, put the backlight on plus 3.3 three, uh, 3 volts yes and so on and then parse of the data I can use my display tester and test and make sure that the display is fine because I don't see here at the connector any issues with this board and I know I will end up in the rabbit hole if I will continue this way so my way of looking at this problem is like this I've got two LVDS cables I can sacrifice one yes and I can use that LVDS cable to create a connector to my tester I'll show you just so that you will know uh. now if my tester will be able to give me the signal 
that's how those are built. So let's get one which is out. Probably I've used it to test something. Okay, so that's one of them, that's second of them. That's fine, it's, it doesn't matter. So here is more of a laptop kind. So I'll show you on the laptop kind. If I can untangle it, of course, yeah. Okay, so what it is, is that goes to my tester, to this one, yes, to this tester, here. Now this has IPEG or some connection name, it's not relevant. And here is the connection, that's a different connection than it's on the, oh my nail is, anyways, um, that's a different connection than it's here. So here is a 30 pin connector, LVDS connector, and here is 40. And I've got some adapters to go from 30 to whatever, but I don't have the one which we need. You see? I need to order more, but probably I order more and again won't be, you know. So this 30 pin connector I need to make. And that's why I need the schematics for the display. Once I will have schematics for the display, I can then turn this cable into the testable uh, device because then I can test it through this and display picture on this new screen and on the old screen even if I want and see which one works the proper way. That's, that's my plan because I do believe that I won't waste that much time this way. And if I will see that the display works, I know that the cable for real works, yes? So then I will have two things tested and then I know it will be only a matter of the main board. Now, what can I do to speed up the process of the main board? Well, I know the main board works apart from the through the HDMI and I know that display works for sure because I've tested then. I know the cable works. So only I need to check now where goes connections, which goes as well to the HDMI port from the main board after going out from the display, uh, from the graphic card, yes? So either a schematics would be useful or a uh, board view would be useful. If I'll start to see that I'm wasting a lot of time, <clears throat> either I would need a second board or replace the board, you know, or or maybe speak on some forum to some guys, maybe they have the same, uh, you know, uh, experience, yes? Because I might end up in the rabbit hole here, to be true. I don't know how to approach it. If anybody knows how to approach it, guys, comment down below, because I, I don't know how to speed up this process. That's what I'm going to do next. And at least I've got a tester, and at least I've got a cable, so at least I can do it, yes? But even though I'll do it, I need to make sure that the board is not only working for the HDMI because I won't be giving him my device to use permanently on his laptop. Uh, his laptop has to send a signal, yes, rather than to HDMI uh, only send it to the, uh, to the display. And I did check, I was pressing the display, external display button, and it was showing the list of all the options, extend the display excuse me, duplicate the display, but whenever I was trying to do anything, it was freezing in that point, like it didn't allow me to click on anything. And because of that, you know, I couldn't go any further. So that's it. Yeah, I think I'll call it a day today and I will just uh, do that um, HDMI port. And have you had a look? Yes, I did have a look and the customer is asking about the Lenovo. Let me reply to the customer. But guys, that's it in this episode. Uh, I can I can thank you for watching. If you did enjoy me struggling, <laughs> uh, please do like or subscribe. That's really helping me, you know, to do more for you. And that's it in, in this episode. If possible, let's fix them all. You know, never know. Maybe one day.